but uh, you got a good meow in you? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, disappointing. Let's see. This there goes go. pretty quickly. Oh, Druid! <laughs> you were talking you. about that, Quap. Enigma. What's Puck's band? Oh, man. Marana. And then SF. I like that. Phoenix. Pudge. Storm. Lena Decider. So the Marana one's going to be Them being super slow, but. Nisha beat Squadix in seven minutes with Marana. Oh, <laughs> double lead dodging leaped. the Star Storm. At the same time. Interesting. Now Nisha's a little bit lower. Blood Grenade, leap forward, and the leap away. It don't want to go under the tower there. That's what we want to see. This aggression. Yeah, I'm in it. Immediately. It's your favorite <laughs> actor, isn't he? No. Don't jump like that. Oh, leap forward. oh what? What? Blood Grenade. I think that was, was two that? Blood Grenades that yeah. missed. Who's... I mean, they were... GPKs, or maybe right? it was just one. Yeah, it might have been one. Star Storm, right clicks, Blood yeah, Grenade, connects, dead. one more right click, and... He's done though. Healing First cells. Blood. Oh, that's big. And Tips Nisha back and forth. Him. That was a nice play. Two points to Star Storm, so he's skipping the arrow. He thinks that this lower cooldown, replenish time, as well as extra attack speed, is going to give him the advantage in this matchup, and so far it did. If he could get... Full health, full mana. Ooh, he's going back. Yeah, he's going back. No, early. the courier around did it deliver? GPK. He's putting some good damage in on Anisha. Meanwhile, Star Storm off cooldown in two seconds. Salve used, and there's the leap in. Star Storm again. He's, he's getting, getting the trouble. kill here. Blood leap. grenade lands, and this is another be leap. Up. Whoa. GPK. We can see it on camera, stretching a little bit, flexing. And understanding now that that's a comeback. Yep, that's uh, he has the advantage. He is he's level up six. by a deny. Not just that, he's gonna get some extra CS, and he also killed a higher level hero. Oh, Nisha. the glyph. Okay, that's a, that's a nice play. These star storms are a fallen. Looking like a meteor shower in the sky. So both at level seven. Oh, no. See who ends up grabbing this, leap off to the side. Still now for both players. He said that he's gonna pick up that Moonlight Shadow at level 6, because uh, they did agree to no sentries. But, uh, yeah, Moonlight Shadow, pretty useless <laughs> in this matchup. We can't Isn't really though, surprise. It's more about the stats. Who knows? Right clicks, uh -oh, leaping, okay. blood grenade, missing. Oh, he's going to leap. He's going to go for it, and he's alive. But under the tower is GPK. Try to snipe with yeah, the arrow, maybe. Say, throw an arrow, try to get something out of this. Oh, no arrow, no arrow. Could you imagine that's how you finish it? With an arrow? Well, now Nisha, he has extra CS. We're getting close to that 15-minute mark. And also, oh, GPK, he it. got hit by an arrow Short for a arrow second. Line. There that's it is, it. Blood Grenade. That's the victory. Nisha, he'll grab game number one with Murata. And Come. immediately scales the oh, build, blood throws grenade. a Blood Grenade. There it is. You talked about the level three potential. Nisha gives it a high five, knew exactly what's going to happen, but is at low HP. GPK still playing aggressive, investing a lot of resources, some of these mangoes, and now Nisha is level three. This is big. Like, this is your time when you want to play aggressive. If you see enemy being level two, those raises damage that do stack, uh, you hit them with the two blood grenade. He needs to start to run away. Yeah, you want to throw that blood grenade at the second one, because if you're going long, medium, you want to be able to get that slow and have the short and hit, right? It, yeah, or... If he decides to fight or if he's starting to run away, maybe get another long one. So that's going to be one. Oh, he's keeping an eye. That's two there. But GPK just going to sit under this tower. Maybe Nietzsche is going to go for it under the tower with creeps here. Hits the raise. They both hit raises. There's a second one. GPK, and now he moves in. Ooh, short range. This could be first spot. Nisha with a blood grenade. Another one. But under Who's the gonna tower, get he gets that's going to be a trade. Nisha gets the, the experience in the first blood. Uh, that's a big difference. and Because uh, I like how Nisha played this one out. He was waiting for GPK to hit the range creep, and then he started to land his raises. Knew exactly that uh, you know GPK will go for that range creep instead of trying to battle him out. Right. And he finds an opportunity, so... Oof. Getting that XP, still dying in the end, but we'll have extra items from the kill. And extra XP, of course. So. Three and a half minutes here. Nisha looking to take the 2-0. He's up 1-0 at the moment. 
This is full four and an advantage heavy for Nisha. There's the blood grenade. And usually with the Shadow Fiends, that's the telltale sign we're going, is the blood grenade. But that one's going to be thrown oh, over. Nisha GP. in trouble. He's, Ooh, he's in ground. trouble. This yeah. is it. This is it. Oh, it's going to be the kill there for GPK. It looked like it was Nisha's game. He catches him in the end, throws a second blood grenade. Like, you see that blood grenade flying out. Uh, if you have your raises, he gets on your high ground and lands another oh. strum. So, Ooh, we're getting yeah, into you it. are much squishier. That's why the bar isn't moving as fast as you would like to see it. Yeah, I always wanted to see it just go from the game. that. It's fun but it was Zerg's. Zerg? Zerg uh, Rush. Yeah, 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 I love Yeah, him. you know what? You are a Zerg person. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You would never be Protoss like I would. No, I don't know. Definitely not. Yeah. Never liked those. Uh, I liked it. I like just building. Same goes for humans in Warcraft 3. It was more about Blade Terran. Master yeah. uh, or Undead. Coil Nova, game yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, for me, I, I, in Starcraft, I liked just building characters. PK, he's got a Sal Mango and another Blood Grenade. Oof, this also doesn't hit. Those that Dragon does, Slaves, though. they need to connect. Like, you need that extra damage and the value. Nisha, right now, in a much better spot. 24 and 9 against 15 6. GPK. Now, let's say. He has that 4 1. Dragon Slave. Right build. clicks. Oh! Oh! The trade ends up being accomplished. Hey, that's, that's huge. That's massive. Because he had 2 0 2 build. Yeah, Same goes for Nisha. Much. And then he gets level 5, skills LSA, turns around, uh, gets him. Not really, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe at like the 14 minute mark. And there's four creeps. Oh, blood grenade, dragon slave, GPK, LSA. He's that going lands in. Laguna. He knows he needs to go for it, but now you're under the tower, taking some damage. There's a south pop by Nisha. Dragon slave doesn't Ooh. connect, so that'll Needs bring him back it. up near full. So we'll see. GPK is going to pick up that arcane rune. Yeah. <laughs> the the <laughs> observer well, looked at it like maybe. Yeah, All right. Very tempting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. LSA connects again. GPK is in a rough position. He needs this kill in the final two minutes. Desperate needs. He's in dire straits. <laughs> yeah, it's a difficult spot. I, I don't think he can win this one unless Nisha makes some like massive mistake. Like, you don't even die to a full combo. That's the problem. Like you, GPK doesn't have a, enough mana to get the combo off anyway. If he runs back. His TP will be on cooldown, but yeah, Nisha can just play it safe. Net worth wise, it's pretty even. At least according to the net worth marker. Although 1,000 now. Never mind. Not 1K. That's a, that's a big. That's, that's a, uh, in 5v5, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, two kills in the side lanes and one bounty rune picked up. Yeah. But in 1v1, it's like 60, 70% of your power treads. So, or two extra bracers. Got to remember that Nisha was a pretty big underdog here at 2.8 on the odds. So a minute remaining. Last minute remaining in this BO3. Let's go, GPK. Dive that tower. Nisha will Nisha TP, is gonna it's just TP back. Nisha back. Like, he's got no reason to go. Dropping some smokes for himself. And he's going to burn this clock. As it's looking like. That's going to be it. You're at 112 CS to the 83. 83 of GPK. He's down by so much. He GPK did hit starting a jungle to, creep. Starting to hit some neutrals. Well, he's trying to get the tower is what he was really trying to do. And he almost got close. Yeah, because he wants to keep the stacks going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but now no he's mana. To back yeah, up. No this mana. Is it. And that is going to be the last 10 seconds. You'll hear the marker, and this should be Nisha's, who's going to have that underdog victory and move on to the finals. GG is called, GPK calls it, and Nisha from Team Liquid will be going on to the next round. Okay. This, like, last couple of minutes were not as exciting, but uh, I loved when they battled it out early on. Then yeah, they yeah. needed to, like, stop to see who's getting the CS advantage. It was Nisha, and it feels like if you fall...